Hello, welcome to the video. In this video, we solve the exercise number 6-2. Okay, so in this video, as you can see, we are actually using the exercise 5-2 and we need to change the processing time for the second pass on machine 1 and its distribution is now triangular distributed with its parameter value of 6.7, 9.1 and 13.6. And we need to run this simulation for 20,000 minutes and compare this exercise result with the previous one and also we need to uh, suggest uh, do an informal statistical comparison by making the 20 repetition of both versions of the model and forming 95% confidence interval and looking the relationship between the confidence intervals. So let's move to the exercise 5-2 and let's see what is exercise 5-2. So let's move to 5-2. Okay, so in this exercise, you can see the parts arrive at two machine system according to an exponential inter arrival distribution with its mean value of 20 minutes and the first time is at zero. And upon arrival, parts are sent to machine one and then processed. The processing time distribution is strongly distributed and the parts uh, that are then processed by the machine to with the processing time distribution is again triangular distributed with its parameter value. So, the parts from machine 2 are directed back to the machine 1 to be processed as a second time and same processing time distribution as the first visit but an independent drawn from it. And we need to again uh, run the model for 20,000 minutes for single application. Okay, so let's solve uh, the exercise is dash 2. So, this is our exercise is dash 2 model. So, first insert the create module and rename it as the arriving of parts and then its uh, distribution time between arrival is 20 minutes as well and then we need to define the assignment module so you simply move to the basic process module and drag the assignment module into the working space and uh, rename it as the process time assignment and under this assignment window add a time attribute and attribute name is process time and add the new value of that attribute that is actually triangular distributed, simply right click, build as pressure, and under this random probability distribution, add the triangular distribution, nothing else. Okay, so let's move further. Let's again add another assignment module and rename it as the assign visit count and rename the attribute add visit count and its new value is visit count plus one. So every time its value is actually increasing. Okay. So let's add the process module, rename it as the machine one process, then add its resource that is machine, oh, sorry, uh, it's machine, uh, the resource name is machine one and you need to see this one and its expression is process time. That is actually stored in this case, process time. Okay. Then add the decide module, is the value equal to two? If this condition is true, then add an attribute visit count that is actually defined in this stage and its value is 2. If this condition is true, then leave the system. Otherwise, part will be moved to the machine 2 process and its machine name is resource name is machine 2 and its value is triangular distributed. And then parts again sent back to the previous assignment module, but in this case you need to further add another assignment module that is the process time to assignment and its value is the process time and its triangular distribution is this. That is already prescribed in the tax problem. And then connect this value into this assign visit count value. Okay, so it's all about the model and then move to the attribute sheet here you can already see the attribute that is defined under this assignment stages. Or the entity is picture dot red wall. Here you can see the queue for both of the machine resource and the resource capacity is 1 1. And uh, okay, so next move to run setup and add the application length is 20,000 minutes. Or we need to perform 20 number of application, then click OK and uh, that's it. Uh, so further, if you click this assignment module here, you can also see the assignment value that is actually defined at this. Okay, so you can actually use the both window, the spreadsheet window or the model window to move to and fro. Okay. 
so let's move back to the model and uh, let's run it okay so let's fast forward it to view the results so here you can see the number of application it's now completed and uh, it's done okay so click this yes button okay so the report is now open and move to the entity here you can see the total time or the cycle time of the entity is 175.72 minutes and its half its value is 28.59 and for machine 1 and machine 2 waiting time is this with its half value and the number waiting time is this with its half value okay so in this uh, sheet you can clearly see the 20 application values that is 175, 2.5 and 4.44 and its value is clearly shown here with its half width value so you can see if we are making the 20 application we can attain or get this result so let's run this model with a single application or one uh, result then you will get this value so you need to change the only thing is move to run setup and make number of application one apply okay and let's run it okay sorry let's run it again and let's fast forward it to view the result okay so now you can see the entry total time but making one application doesn't provide any half width value in arena you didn't get any half width value due to all, only single application so make sure this thing and these are the number waiting values so here you can see exactly the same thing now if you open the model 5-2 that is actually not the part of this video tutorial but i can show you only the model so here is exercise 5-2 and uh, if we run this model with its one replication value and let's fast forward it let's view the result so here you can see the total time as well as the number waiting value and that clearly available here so now uh, the issue is uh, this is the one application without the half width value and this is again the one application value without the half width considering the exercise 5-2 and 6-2 so if you make the 20 application then we get these values and this uh, value clearly show is there any overlap uh, difference in this case so here you can see the half width value is 23 and here is 228.5 so this is actually overlap there is a major difference but in this case there is no difference and in this case uh, also overlapping the values so uh, it's all about this exercise 6-2 hopefully you just like the video okay i will see you in the next video